get Julius on the phone. The sponsor's got an issue with sharing the page. Eugene? Yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to meet Julius. I'm Anne Kellen, the editor. You won't be meeting him. He said on the phone that... Uh, we won't be publishing these. You have a child overdosing. And this. A girl either being sexually assaulted or prostituting herself. I spoke to Julius and... You're speaking with me. This is voyeurism and exploitation. You waited and you photographed people at their most vulnerable, clearly from a hidden vantage point. Where I come from, this stuff happens every day. I, I didn't cause it. No, you waited in your hiding spot like a stalker for it to happen. I want to speak to Julius. Don't ever come back here. Don't you ever send us anything again. Working properly. It's not bloody working. Dad, if you just if you just calm down, you'll have more than enough for tonight. Well, I'll, I'll get you another one tomorrow. I can't bloody breathe, mate. I, I need your help. Let me check the tube. Get out of it! Don't touch that for God's sake! It's keeping me alive, you bastard. I need to check the tube to see if it's pumping air. I need more oxygen. I wish you bloody understand. He needs to stop doing this. Eugene, you have to make him stop doing this.
Don't! Sixty-nine Rose Street. And what is your emergency? Uh, I think they're running a, a illegal brothel out of there. What makes you think that? They're these men. They they took teenage girls in there. They looked like they were drugged. Look, just send a car around. Welcome to Slipstream, Caitlin speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello. Um. My name is Eugene Millard. I'd like to speak to Julius, please. I'll see if he's available. What is the reason for your call? I sent in some photographs. Sorry, he's in a meeting. Can I take a message? I, I did want to speak to Julius. He said that there was a good chance that you would publish my photos. I can put you through to our editor. No. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes, my name's Eugene Millard. I, I wanted to speak to Julius, please. He's busy. Perhaps I can help. Uh, yes. Um... Julius uh, did say that there was a, a good chance that my photos would be published. What was your name again? Eugene. Millard. Hello? Hello? Hello, Eugene? Uh, hello? Yes. Yes, uh, like I said, I, 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 I did speak with Julius. I'm reading Anne's notes. This is so rude. Voyeurism. I mean, if you're going to be a street photographer, they're not going to pose for you, are they? Hello? Okay. They're good. They are? They're confronting. Uh, that seems to be the consensus. Um... I'm sorry, I, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry, Polly. Oh, uh, Polly. Um, yes, uh, Julius did say that he might publish them. I'll be honest with you. Anne is basically a feminist on crack. I'm reading through her notes again. Look, what she's written here, the bit about rubbing people's noses in it. Well, from what I can see, I sort of agree. There's no way in for the viewer. If there's some hope to, to go with it, a contrast for the griminess. Eugene? I think I might have something. Really? You know we can meet. Can you get to the graveyard? Uh, funky little bar of St. Hilda. Meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Jean? Holy. So, you're the man who took these. Yeah. Well, they're very good. Look, I spoke with Julius, and he was keen at the reservations. And unfortunately for you, there's Anne. Thank you, 
Harvard. Not what the first guy told me. Take pictures like this. No, no you're not. So, why take them? That's what it's like here. Well, what, why stay there if it's so bad? I look after the dead. He's sick. Look, lady, sometimes in life you just look around and wonder how the hell did I get here. You've heard of Caroline Doyle? That, uh, 24 hour news channel. We were friends from primary school to journalism school. Now she's on TV five nights a week, and I'm a assistant to an art director. She's five years younger than me. And that's being generous. Do you have the other image? Did you stalk her? No. She just seems like someone I want to say. See, that's good. And she is the way in for the viewer. Can you get more images? Yeah. You don't sound very confident. No, no. I, I can get more. Okay. This is what we're going to do. More images, innocence lost, black and white, do and death, yep. And you and me, me to me, with Julius. Cheers. Listen, my little Jerry, I'm taking you to hospital to fix his face. Don't give you any more trouble. And next time, he beat you, and then no one will talk to you. Then you know what's happened, right? Get in there. You better not be here for more oxygen. Did, did 
Did somebody bring in a, a, a teenage girl with a bruised face? Excuse me? Um, I think she's being kept prisoner. I have no idea what you're talking about. You should leave. His, his van is parked out the front. Look, if we ask questions, it remains on our licenses, okay? There's a doctor here, never seen before, no paperwork, no records. Someone connected up, let it go. I need to see a doctor. No, you don't. I'm having a heart attack. <coughs> I need to see a doctor right away. <coughs> Sit. The doctor will be here shortly. Don't go snooping around. Kill you. He's gonna kill her. We have to evacuate. Stop. 
Look, I live near here. We can hide there. Why you have photo? A magazine, a slipstream. They're going to publish my photos. With, with me? Yeah. Tomorrow we can go to the police. No, I'm illegal. But you're a victim of a crime. I escaped before. Go to police. They deport me to immigration. But I not deport. I don't understand. Daddy owns your police. Immigration. He just take me back. Who is this daddy? We never meet. He is boss. Czar. But if you just disappear. I'm illegal. No one gives you. I smoke. He's breathing. This photo in paper. This photo in paper. I can't see. Do that. Daddy can't find me. It would be like a clue. Jane! 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 Mate, I've done it again, mate. Oh. The man's a bloody disgrace, I know. Give oh. it to him, mate. Jeez. I've got to get to the bloody bathroom. Oh, oh come on. Oh, give it down, up. Just get up. Oh, thanks, my arm, mate. Oh, fuck. God. Oh, Dad. Oh, God, mate. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. The magazine. It, uh, I'm meeting with them tomorrow. Come with me. Be safer than staying here. You make money off this? Yeah, hopefully. If it's on an exhibition. Then what? Okay, but then. What do you mean? You're dead. You die. Maybe soon. They know you anyway. I take photo of bad thing. Cherry. 
Joe's very... Joe. Joe is a man's man. Josephine. Josephine. I give it. And if we can get this photo into this magazine. To English. My mother taught French. Well, where is she? Don't ask. Sorry. Father, what is his name? William. And your mother? She died. How? Giving birth. What? I love the show. You learn English from the show. It's a good show. Ah, uh, hi. This is Josephine. Joe, Polly. Don't call me Joe. Come in. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I know I should. Uh, do you want to watch TV? I have Galaxy. We need to talk. I smoke? Uh, no. I said bring more photos. I didn't mean bring news. They were holding her prisoner. Selling her for sex. Oh my god, this just gets better all the time. Eugene, Julius wants your photos. He wants to meet you. Wait. Why did you bring her here? Why didn't you go to the police? She's already tried that. The pimp just got her back. He must have police and immigration officials on his payroll. And there's no way we're going to get our photos published with heat like that on them. How badly do you want this? Badly enough. Enough? Yeah, I want it obviously. Okay. Then we're going to keep this a secret for now. Julius Eugene, you meet at last. Um, Anne insisted on being here. You said you would handle her. I know, I know. She just wants to ask a few follow-up questions. I mean, she's the editor, Polly. Uh, Eugene, come on through. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eugene, come on through, mate. Come on. Um, I believe you guys know each other. 
right. Eugene, let me start off by saying that these images are as impressive as they are confronting. Whilst I believe they fit in with Slipstream's target audience, there are a few issues. See, I don't make all the decisions myself. Sponsors, artists, and indeed my co-workers all have a say in the final product. Now, having said that, if these images were published, what primarily would you want to get out of them? Just to leave. To, to leave? Leave? Well, you mean your neighbourhood? Yeah. Yeah, he looks after his father who is elderly and sick. And he wants to put him in a home. You didn't ask him that, did you? Eugene, I'm a mother. I'd like to know why you took these photographs at all. I saw it happening. I took them. People don't have to look at them if they don't want it. Is she underage? I think so. You think so? And they're street photos. Do you want him to ask for ID? Hmm. Street. They're not on the street. Really? Hmm. I can't see that. Can you? Um. What was she doing when you photographed her? Oh, who cares what she was doing? I'm wondering why she isn't getting screwed or ODing like everyone else you shoot. Where I live, that's all there is. Why her? Trying to help her. Excuse me? What he means is he's exposing a, a reality that no one knows about. Uh, well, uh, Polly, is that what you mean, Eugene? Yes, Eugene. Are you helping her by including her with your other smut? Hey. Anne, Anne, enough. She's basically a child. I was selling her for sex. Oh. I had to help her. And how exactly are you doing this? She thinks that no one cares. If she was in this magazine, it might change. Exactly. Do you have her consent? Oh, legally we don't need her consent. Can you see further than your own nose? People will ask, who is this girl? How does her family feel about it? And we say, oh, she's a 15-year-old hooker on the street. It's all good. If you're hypocritical enough to bring morals into it, it's ourselves or having our own moral positions challenged. Oh, that is good. No, that's good. We, we can use that. Eugene would need to meet her and make sure she was on board. Oh, that... she's totally fine with it. Oh, You're not good. serious about this. Yeah, actually, I actually am. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Anne, if you want your publicity served up on a silver platter. Stop, stop. Time out. This meeting's over, OK? Eugene, I'm going to confer with my co-editors and then we'll have a decision pretty quick, OK? Thank you so much for coming in. Very talented man. Anne, can you lock up, please? You said a few follow-up questions, not the whole bloody Spanish Inquisition. Not one for sticking to the plan, are you? I hate to tell you, but people a lot less nicer will ask you the same questions. Hey, Jean, are you listening? Yeah. From now on, just stick to the plan. Get more shots of her, and when you do your darkroom magic, make her the centerpiece. Okay, um, I need to go home. You tell Joe. Perhaps you'd better go back inside and smooth things over. <laughs> no sh on her. Daddy want to see you, huh? You can last for that long. If you kill her and me, everyone will know. People have met with us, they'll wonder where we are. She won't be just another missing hooker. Well, she will be just another missing hooker, because she's just a hooker, mate. They go missing all the time. You've got other girls. 
You don't need her. You're planning on making any money out of these things. And you see, you can't be taking what I make money off and using it for yourself. It just isn't fair. How much is she worth to you? Five grand, 10, 20. Yeah, 20 sounds good. I don't have $20,000. Yeah, I think your photos will sell for that much. They've got to be published first, and then, and then they go to exhibition. They get sold at exhibitions. Eugene, isn't it? I love you, mate. You're very special. I want 20 grand by the end of the week. Can't get that. Here's a tip. There's a little place I know. It's called the Willowbrook. It's a hotel. Room 23 is the one we use occasionally, isn't it, mate? Perfect place for you and her to make some money. Now, I'm gonna be sending the boys around same time next week to collect. You better have that money, or you'll both run out of water. I still don't understand why she had to be at the meeting. It was between the three of us. Look, I, I get that. I know. But hang on. How'd it go? Great. Um, sorry, that was that was Eugene. Daddy found us. I must leave. No. He'll just find us again. I had to do a deal with him. $20,000 in one week for you. You met Daddy. Are you going to get money? I never met you. I'm going. No, no. He'll just catch you again. And Remember, as I said before, controversy sells. We're going to make a lot of money if we slip through. Get from them. They'd want to know why. And if I tell them about Daddy, I'll probably call the police. And they definitely won't publish. Photos. If we could just pay this bastard off, then you'd go in the magazine and tell your story to the world. See how powerful he is when, when everyone knows who he is. Daddy is Tsar, you bummed old man. They killed my dad. This prick. Even suggested that I that I pimp you to get the money. Rhonda. 
tell me about me today? She asked, I agree for photos be in magazine. She worse than you. But still, I agree. But now we go get money for Teddy. You were man before. You want to win. Now you're still bum. You ask. Are you doing? For you. Don't expect me to do this just for myself. You go first. Take a breadstick. What are you doing? Um, uh, what do you have? Yeah, you have I got the cash, man. So you got how, how much you got? Yeah, yeah. Give me everything you got, man. Give how me much have you got? Yeah, I, 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 one fifty. That, that's not because she's taking. She pisses me off so. This will help. I can't do this. I do it, you do it. Couldn't I just, couldn't I just wait outside the room? No, I need protection. You must be in here. Sometimes get sicko. Now I yell, Eugene, Eugene, hop, hop. Only that, nothing else. You run in with butt, maybe hit on legs, but not on head, not on head, okay? <laughs> I can't watch you do this. You already watch, with camera. But that's different. So, what's your camera then? Must have money. Okay?
You're a man. A good man. But still, a man. Why didn't you let me stop it? I'm not in trouble. But I meet the normal people. Don't show these photos to the world. I would have stopped him, you know. Dodola. Goddess. Protect young girls from my mother. In town, most beautiful girl wear flowers and leaves. All the other girls go with her from house to house, singing to Dodola. You were that girl? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm too ugly. I'm in chorus.
They're not here. What? The, the photos. They, they, they're not in the next edition. We talk to Blonde later. We take money to Daddy now. No. No. You wait here. I'll take it. All the freak shows we've ever done weird shit to my girls. You're the first one who's ever wanted to show it to the world. Money. Hmm. I mean, you sold some slut for twenty thousand dollars. All of a sudden, you're the what the chronicler of the oppressed. Not like you. You know the difference between prostitution and marriages, don't you? What can make you pay before the sex? But some people think there's something vaguely wrong in all this. And they can't quite put their finger on what it is because they're all in denial about the fact that we're just animals. I think it's selling teenage girls for sex. Hmm. Did you know that one of the sponsors of Slipstream is owned by me? Cherry sunshine. Even for art, we're gonna have to pay for it. I don't have any more money. I'll take 50,000 every week in rent. I can't get that. I know. <laughs> Fifty thousand in a week. That's disgusting. No. I need to go on TV. <laughs> Polly has a friend who hosts a, a TV show. I need to go on and tell her about Daddy. How does this help? We stick to the plan. We expose Daddy by putting you out there in the public. You do this with me. No. You must do this with me. Do you think the people seeing me that's going to help? You must come with me, Satan, not home. She'll carve me up. You'll be fine. You're the victim. You, you want your photos on TV, but not you. You're gutless standing in the room. Camera, I... I'm going to take you with me. I promise that this is the only way. Tell them about Daddy, the house, the police, the, the immigration, but, but nothing else. Oh. Oop. <laughs> hey, kids. Well, this dinner was meant to be a celebration. I'm sorry about the photos. There was a, a problem with the sponsor, and that was all that Bitch Ann needed to talk Julius out of it. Basically, he said they weren't worth the hassle. I know it sounds sick, but what we need is something that he can't afford to ignore. What about your friend in the media? 
Caroline Doyle wanted to interview you, those photographs would have had to have created a storm. Wouldn't she do it as a favour for a friend? She's a TV star first. Anyway, there's no story. Christ, there's not even a magazine article. There is a story. Big one. Go on. You do it. <laughs> Troy's love. Oh, he will tell you the same thing. I can't be there. Will you go on TV and tell them about Daddy? Now, when you meet her, she's going to do this whole caring and sharing routine. Trust me, she is the most ambitious person you will ever meet. Remember, this is just an audition. I only told her that you and Eugene met through him photographing you. Nothing else. Just stay on message. This is all about Daddy. If we get the network to get Caro to do a story on this, we can get exposures for the photos, get in the gallery, make some money, and you can get citizenship. All right, let's do this. This is her. Josephine, you are beautiful. Even more so in colour. Yeah, you found yourself in a strange world, haven't you? Not my idea. I'm sure it wasn't. Josephine, I'm sorry for the way the world has treated you. But here, you can be as open as you like. Okay. And I'm sure that Polly has explained that before we can even consider doing a proper interview, we need consent from a parent or guardian. Oh, we can uh, save that for the interview. Okay. What do we think? Couch? Okay, Joe, can I get you to sit down so the guys can set up, please? Joe? Joe. Josephine. I'm sorry. Where's Polly? They go to TV studio. How did it go? Polly say maybe not yours. What did you say? I tried. I told them about Daddy. Hotel? I say other things too about you. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tell me you. You had to make this work. <sighs> what exactly did you say? This is not my fault. I suppose she told you that the interview didn't go as planned. Can you use it? I doubt Caroline will ever speak to me again. 
It's game over, man. What did Joe say? Everything. Was completely. We needed the money. I know. And there was only one way you could go through with it. I get it. It's not your fault, Jean. It's your muse. I'd like to see these photos. Promised her I wouldn't show anyone. She's revealed everything anyway. I mean, does it really matter? This is it. This is exactly what we need. No. Remember what I said about images that Julius can't ignore? Daddy will block them. A slipstream, yes. But if we take these to an exhibition, the publicity will come to us. We shall win. These are very good, Josephine. We promise. You made some promises too. You cannot show. I'm not whole, you promise. These images are the last roll of the dice. You can show others, not this. Do you want to know what she said? No. No, please, no. They put me in house with other girls, Asian, African, all illegal like me. They give us drugs and men come for sex. I escape, go to police, immigration, daddy got me back. And daddy is still looking for you now. Yeah. Then why hasn't he recaptured you? I saved by a man. This is the photographer? Is that right? You said that... You were imprisoned. What were the circumstances of him photographing you? Do you want to pay for photographs? Personally, I have a lot of trouble with a man paying a girl in such vulnerable circumstances as yours for photographs. You're sick of I suppose. And how did the man that you just described get you away from this seemingly all-powerful criminal? To get away from Daddy, did Jim buy me? Buy you? Did you know about this? Hell no. Daddy say every week now, Jim pay money for photo B and magazine. How did he get the money to buy you? By Hori. Protection, so Eugene in the next room was by Bobak. He was watching you having sex. To watch he must photograph. Holly, he loves me. He's a sicko, he loves me. That not happen. I don't say that. I mean I say it, but Show the images. Eugene. You, you promised to take me away. We need to get those photos out. Not this. If you want to know. What the I'm a sicko and you're a whore. I am not sick. Sure you did. We all know what this is. Eugene, you're a good man. Yes, how you? Jean. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. Blond is not your friend. I am friend. 
I picked you because you looked into the lens. The whore who looked into the lens. My Josephine. Just a whore who looked into my lens. They all were you. You played me. You are nothing. These images are going out. Tonight is the beginning of you getting the credit you deserve. These photos take off. Julius has promised to make me editor. We can publish anything you want. I mean, there's no reason you can't photograph other things. You feel bad about it, don't you? You're not a bad man. I mean, you tried to help her. If anything, she manipulated you. Can't do it. What? No. Can't do it. Um, keep driving. Yeah, around the back. Jules? Hello? Yeah, we're making a detour. Um, yeah, meet us around the back. Yeah, left here. Ah. Polly. Hi. Hey. There's a light. What can you do? Can you... Oh, yeah. Come on. Take a seat. Take a seat. All right. He stays here. I'm going to mingle a little bit first. Is he okay? I mean, he doesn't look that great. We're gonna have a Q&A, no, but he's fine. Just remember, no one speaks to him but me. That's okay. No one knows who he is, do they, Polly? <laughs> Eugene. Eugene. I just want to let you know, I will defend your right to show these images, okay? So the thing is, when these images are published, the people who are gonna be most confronted are the ones that are facing their own darkness, okay? Just remember that. And... Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. As I said, I want nothing to do with those images out there. You get one look at this tape, and I'm destroying the footage. If either of you ever say anything about this to anyone, I will sue you for defamation. And how did the man that you just described get you away from this seemingly all-powerful criminal? Jo Josephine, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not serious. What? How did you do it? I, I don't know. Just tell her we need to move on. I promise you, Jill, I am not serious. What did he do? Kid, just tell her. How bad could it be? <sighs> you know what, Polly? I don't think we should continue. Oh, 
she's fine. Josephine, you need this. We need this. Just, just tell her. To get away from daddy, Eugene buy me. Buy you? Did you know about this? Hell no. Sweetheart, you've just put me in a big time. You uh, better explain. Daddy say every week now, Jim pay money for photo B and magazine. How did he get the money to buy you in the first place? Well, this has nothing to do with me. I, I had no idea what these two are up to. I, I would have stopped it immediately. Now, you started this, explain. How did he get the money to buy you? Tell her what you and Freak Show cooked up. By Hori. You happy? I need protection, so Eugene in the next room with baseball bat. He was watching you having sex? To watch, he must photograph. Holly! Oh, don't look at me! She said it herself. He's a sicko. Don't say sicko. Well, you warped little freak, what would you call it? He loves me. He's a sicko, he loves me. showing me this why not show Julius because he doesn't care Tonight is the first exhibition of the photographer Eugene Millard. What are you doing? Step forward. The tape. You fixed it. How could you do that to her? For God's sakes, did I take these? <laughs> I am not your whore. Get out of the room. Where's Caroline Doyle? Uh, she was here a minute ago. I think she's left. I to speak to you about as much as I do. I know how to find Daddy. He might have Josephine, but I need Doyle's help. Come with me. We also need 50 grand in a week for Josephine. Get back up there now. I have waited my whole life for this. You are nothing. 
nothing without me. You're not human. You don't even exist. You're nothing, you hear me? Photographs are selling. Congratulations. Doyle will find out who Daddy is? Yes. Yes, she must be able to interview both of you, and you've got to tell her everything. The network will do its own investigation. Okay. You better get out of here. We'll be here soon. You don't even know if he's got him. Or if he hasn't killed her already. gets all of my money. He's clean! When is this going to stop, huh? Yeah, good point. Game over. No, wait, wait! I want, I want sex! I want sex! With her! Just, stop just one! Stop! Uh, uh, please, Daddy, let me do it just once. It's my thing. I want to watch it. I can't help it. Well, let's get the room 23, then. Coming too. It's been ages since I saw a live show, Mick. Hello. I get a tape, right? Yeah, of course. But you gotta make it look real good. What do you mean? Well, I don't want statutory rape. I want real rape. You're gonna split that. You're gonna make a tape you're never gonna want to show to anyone. Now get your clothes off. Why? Don't you do all this, all. Inspiration may be more than we are ready for. He is worse than the men who paid him for sex because he did not. He has no artistic merit. This is the complete erosion of child. How a teenage girl selling herself for sex can be considered art. How could she live like this? It's got me beat. The work has an intrinsic value, whether the creators themselves are a deviant or whatever you want to call it or not. Absolutely revolting. It's art. But is it Lee? He should be arrested for pimping her. It's not so much the sexual, but more the power. Rubbing our noses. I've seen the photos on the net and I nearly puked. I don't need a church or a government or anyone else to tell me how I should think. 